Uh, I say we keep it going. What do you say? I happen, I happen to be a big fan of this dude. We've hung out in many cities, including Rome, and I haven't seen him in a long time. I'm thrilled to have him back. Ladies yeah, and gentlemen, let's bring out Brock Kelly. That's why I note to self when I see you next time, don't bring a mic stand. There you go. Two beautiful people touching. That was awesome. oh, That's gonna be a gift. Wow. I, I'm gonna Snapchat that. that that's gonna make me look really oh. cool. Yeah, you should, you should. Yeah. Snapchat. I love Snapchat. What's Snapchat? Oh, by the way, I can't help but notice this. Robot Mike. Did you go to the merch room? <laughs> What are you wearing over your jacket? Over your jacket. shirt. <laughs> you went and bought a Thursday person shirt? Shameless. Yes. The line is very long, Rich. <laughs> you have a problem with Robot Mike buying a Thursday person shirt. You may not know this. Brock Kelly, you're not a person. You're a robot. Uh, That's not true. <laughs> My lots have feelings, too. Oh, look at that. Go for I, I called you, uh, I said you're a robot in a person, and people actually went, aww. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> people, people think you have a heart. Here's the thing, quick note, next time you buy a shirt, um, take off the jacket, <laughs> put on the shirt, put back on the jacket. That's the, the one fashion snafu. Otherwise, home run, you know what I'm saying? It looks good, doesn't it? Okay, fine. <laughs> Give it to the stage with this man, Brock Kelly, everybody! I'm going to my mic stand. I'm taking my mic stand and going home. Wow, it's been a while. I love these supernatural fans. It's so Vegas. God, I swore this city off like a few years ago. And you brought me back, so you know that's how powerful you are. What's up? You got some questions for me? Hi, um, my question is kind of about, have you actually watched the show since you've not been on it? <laughs> we, well, we kept in touch with what's happening with your Of course, your it, it, this would be the first question, if I had to see what my street credibility is in these supernatural streets. Uh, God, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I watched uh, probably like one or two episodes before I filmed, which might explain some things. <laughs> uh, since after that, I, I got really hooked because you know it's such a pretty damn cool show. Um, but I stopped around season six because things got kind of you know Weird. crazy for me, and um, I did check in a little bit when when uh, Dean turned into Demon Dean. <laughs> I thought that was I thought it was a cool like little turn, and uh, I just wanted to see how they played it. So I, I watched some of that. And that's that's about it. That's, that's, I hope you're not disappointed. <laughs> I'm a fan. I do. It's it's like if it comes on on uh, reruns during the morning, I'll I'll, I'll watch. A bit. Well, thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh hey. Here you are. I, forgot, I forgot how this works. It's, it's been a while. So you're um, you have two movies coming up. Can you tell yeah. us about them? Yeah, absolutely. Um, Desolation is uh, a film that I shot about a year ago this time. I play a really nice guy. Uh, <laughs> he's, uh, he's a guy that works for this, this company that um, preys on young, attractive women with, uh, they're, they're, they're a little mentally unstable. And this particular girl that the movie is uh, focused on, she had just been raped and uh, impregnated and an abortion. And, um, I don't know, I'm not laughing at that at all. <laughs> uh, I, I was just laughing at what I, my, the character does, so, um, which is even more screwed up. Uh, basically, <laughs> so they send me to our, this company sends a psychiatrist files and like learns everything about these girls, and then they inform me, and they send me, who I'm like this actor that's kind of 
fallen off the, the, the radar a little bit and I do these B movies, um, B movies. And um, I go and I, I meet these girls, and, or this girl in particular, and I, uh, I like charm her and you know, just kind of like make her comfortable being around men again. And um, we, uh, we consummate the relationship. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and I convinced her to come back to Los Angeles with me when, like, filming is finished, and stay with me in my apartment, and you know, continue uh, what we're what we're doing. <laughs> and she comes to LA and has a great time, and then I get this, this this job opportunity, and I have to leave. But I I convince her to stay uh, in Los Angeles, and. Um, Weird stuff starts happening. <laughs> I don't want to give it away, but there's some, there's some, there's some torture. No spoilers. On. Yeah, yeah, no spoilers. So uh, yeah, that's called Desolation, and it's about finished. I think they're done with posts pretty much. So it should be coming. It should be available sometime soon. And then uh, this other film that I did called Feral. Um, I played a played a uh, med student. And we're like on, on college break or spring break or something like that. And we go to the, uh, the woods to go camping and, and we, start, we start getting picked off one by one by, by zombies. And we, you know, obviously try and eat each other. <laughs> well, I don't know, maybe, maybe I survive. You gotta go see it. Though. <laughs> so, yeah, that's, that's what I got coming up. All right, thank you. Right on. Um, hi. I, was, I absolutely love how you played Young Green. Oh, thank and, you. And I was wondering if you could have done something different with the character, what would you have done? <laughs> uh, I think, you know, just maybe because it all happened so fast. Um, I got cast, and then I think like maybe a day or two later I was in Vancouver, and I think the very next day I was filming. I think I would have spent more time, because uh, I, I, I didn't have cable when I got cast. It was like when I first moved to Hollywood and I was struggling a little bit. And I, I might have had a TV, I can't remember. Um, but I, I saw like this big poster of, of Jensen and Jared near my house, so I knew what the show was. Uh, but uh, I think I would have watched more just to get more of Jensen's, you know, just his manner, mannerisms and just more, more of the relationship that he had um, with Sam. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Hi. Hello. <laughs> um, I know it was a while ago and you ran from the story once or twice before, but I'm, I'm kind of new. Apologies to everybody. Oh, um, sure. I think, are we wearing this? <laughs> <laughs> How did your audition go? And might we be able to get a little um, replay? <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, gosh, it, yeah, it, it all <laughs> it all happened so fast again. Um, came up. They have me do the scene with uh, Sam, where I'm like on the, uh, or he's on the bleachers, and you know, just talking about him getting bullied, and how I'm gonna kick that bully's ass that's like half my size. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I did it with, um, with uh, gosh, gosh, her name's escaping me right now, but she's 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 Robert Ulrich's associate. She was like, gosh, you look just like Jensen, and I was like, oh, cool, who's that? <laughs> She, was, she immediately like took me out of her office and brought me to Roberts, and he was like, mm-hmm, yep, and like, I did it, and I don't think I was very good, you know, like auditions, they come up, and you just have minimal time, you just run there, and you go, and you do it, but uh, they brought me back, I think, the next day, and this still has never happened, well, it only happened to me maybe once or twice before, but uh, there's a room full of people at the callback, like girls and guys, I guess, or, um, 
bringing back uh, uh, the girl that uh, the girl that played my, my girlfriend. Uh, <laughs> Candace, Candace was in there, but there was other girls for her role. And um, they were just like, "Oh, he's here! He's here!" And like, brought me past all these people up these stairs. I was like, "This is this is really weird. What's going on?" And, uh, Eric Kripke was sitting in this room, and uh, I didn't know who he was. <laughs> I probably would have been nervous. And he was just like, "What's up, man? How's it going?" I was like, "Good, man. Happy to be here." <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're just sitting in this office on Warner Brothers, and he was telling me how I just, um, I need to use Jedi mind trick, because he was like, alright, you got the brother part, the brother, uh, the brotherly, you know, relationship down, um, and I guess I sucked with flirting with a girl, <laughs> so, <laughs> he was like, you need to, uh, you need, you, you're Han Solo, basically, like, everything <laughs> you do, she's just, she's just gonna do, so just do that, you know, and, um, uh, uh, yeah, that resonated, and he was a Star Wars fan, and uh, yeah, he uh, he liked me, and I guess I think two or three days later, we were like, do you have a passport? And I was like, no, I don't. <laughs> I got one, I ran, got one, and oh, well, they gave me the job, and I got one, and then, uh, yeah, that's how that happened, so, gosh, I really don't remember the lines, I think, uh, <clears throat> <laughs> I'm gonna whip his lungs out! Yeah. I would have done that differently. That's how I would have been. <laughs> been so aggro. <laughs> Outside of acting, uh, let's see, I love playing basketball, um, anywhere, everywhere, beach, gym, uh, <laughs> wherever, wherever we play basketball, I love friends' houses, uh, I like to cook, I like to, <laughs> yeah, my parents own a Creole Italian restaurant in New Orleans, and before I was an actor, I was a cook with my stepdad until he couldn't tolerate me anymore because he was kind of incompetent. And, um, I had ADD or ADHD, whatever it's called. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I, I learned how to cook with him, and so I, you know, I, I like doing that. Not not every day, but you know, I, I like to cook for a lot of people sometimes for uh, gatherings. Um, been known to partake in a few drinks. Is that a hobby? Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty much all I got. <laughs> hey, um, Hi. my question, I was wondering if you have any good memories from like being on the set. Yeah, uh, watch. <laughs> it all happened in the closet. <laughs> um, no, I, I, like, like I said, I was a fairly new actor when I got the role, and I think there was maybe a press release that um, happened right before filming that people were bringing to my attention. So, uh, you know, I saw that and got, you know, kind of sweaty <laughs> and uh, started feeling pressure, and. Um, I got to set, I think, the first day, and I, I think the first day was uh, when I was by the bleachers with, with, uh, with Colin. And I, I had this idea of how I saw that scene going, and <laughs> it's nothing like what the director saw. So, he, you know, he, he told me uh, um, to not do that, what I was doing anymore. <laughs> and um, I think I kind of like got, you know, in my own head, and uh, I started freaking my lines, and I just started dropping that bombs. Like, not at anybody, just like to myself, just like, fuck, you know, like whatever. And I, I forgot Colin was right there, and, and Colin, was, he, was look, he looked at me, he's like, Dude, stop cursing. <laughs> I think that was one of my favorite moments, and then another moment, um, Candace and I shared a trailer divided by a wall because 
that would have been awkward. And I didn't realize there was, she, we were sharing it, which uh, got really awkward because I was like running my line so I didn't forget because I was already like paranoid that I was going to forget again. And then like I heard her go, <coughs> just kind of like give me a warning like, you know, hey, there's somebody else in this trailer. <laughs> and I was like, oh, I was just really embarrassed. And then, you know, I had to go like be in closet with her. She was, She's pretty cool. She pretended like she never heard it, but no, she did. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, pretty, pretty much that. <laughs> and Hello. Can I just say you're really attractive? <laughs> series. <laughs> Playing McFly. That'd be sick. Uh, and then film. Gosh. I don't know. There's too many. There's, that's a whole other realm. That may, oh, film. Link from Legend of Zelda. I would literally kill to be in. Episode, you didn't actually uh, have to deal with the monster or anything. But would you like to come back as a you know flashback back of one of Dean's first hunts, where he's actually you know doing the monster thing? Oh God, yeah, of course. <laughs> I, I would, yeah, I would, in a second. You know, um, I, I think that ship has sailed. You know, <laughs> I probably look like Jensen at this age, and you know, or older than when he first came on the show. Uh, but you know, there's movie magic, so maybe. I cut my hair, I'll do it again. <laughs> In a second. Thank you. But I heard they were casting like uh, Bobby and uh, Sam have an illegitimate son, so I'm like, trying to, <laughs> trying to go with that. I heard it's coming. I heard it's coming. Changed. <laughs> Your hair is long. Yeah. Uh, what was the funniest thing you ever witnessed while on set? While on any set? On Supernatural. On Supernatural. Uh, well, I mean, because, you know, I was only, like, there for one episode. A total of three days. All the funny stuff happened uh, if, if I were to objectively be looking at myself from like an out-of-body experience, just watching this poor guy. Uh, that's that's probably that, but I've, I've seen some funny things at conventions. <laughs> um, share. Share. <laughs> what happens at Supernatural Convention stays in Supernatural <laughs> share too much. Um, one time, uh, God, I was, uh, we were in Rome, and the boys had been partying all night, including myself, and um, Jared was on one. <laughs> he, uh, yeah, I think he started thinking he was in the UFC or something. We started wrestling back in the room. And, and I think I'm about two inches taller now because of that. He, like, it's a serious <laughs> to work on me. Yeah, that, 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 that was funny if I wouldn't have been part of it. <laughs> it hurt. The next day I was like, well, I had like burns on my face. I think he choked me out and I like, put a cigarette out of my face. I got a question. Yes. I want to hear about directing school. 
directing school. Yeah. Right on. Uh, yeah. So um, I just started going to, or I didn't just say about three years ago. I <laughs> felt like I wanted to take a little bit more control of my career, so I enrolled in a school around my house and uh, wanted to study directing. And I just finished, so I got a degree in directing. <laughs> so much more to learn like especially you know just having like to see how it works actually on a set because you can study theory you can study the techniques you know all you, all you want so if your face is blue you know the front back of the book but uh, it's completely different like working with actors and just treading that fine line of you know not because actors are sensitive people I know I am <laughs> we, we get in our heads we forget the lines we curse in front of little children <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I, uh, you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to starting to at least get on, on, on that side of the camera in some aspect, whether it's like as, you know, an assistant or just a volunteer or anything. Uh, but I, I, I do plan to start doing some of my, my own things uh, very soon. So, I don't want to talk about it, I just want to show you. seen this story, this take, this whatever, this set up a million times, uh, you know, there's there's always much to learn and even those things can help you evolve because it'll like, in where, um, you know, you, oh that's great but I can do that differently and uh, don't quit, you know, it gets hard, you know, I mean, I'm sure, when, how, how long have you, uh, how long have you been studying? This is only my first year, but yeah. it's, you know, it's getting harder. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. All the projects and everything. It gets intense, you know, and you feel overwhelmed. So I'm sure you have a life outside of school, right? Not just studying. Uh, just don't quit. Because I quit a couple times and begged my teachers to let me back in the class and re-add me, and luckily they did. Uh, so yeah, don't quit. Just and continue, to, continue to learn. Watch stuff. Take notes when you're watching it. <laughs> uh, a little bit of both, actually. Um, I got uh, I, <laughs> I got kicked out of school that I went to in New Orleans, and uh, at school, I would say I was more of the nerd. I was more of I was I was more of Sam's character uh, in my episode, the one that like you know was just kind of like quiet. And, uh, try to be good, and you know people, uh, just you know antagonize them and, and all and all that BS. And uh, I ended up, you know, like it just. I think I lasted there like four or five years, um, but it got so bad to a point that you know I was just kind of not like giving up on life, but you know like I just was kind of like checking out basically, like. Whether it was I was just not, not, I wouldn't show up to school, or I just put my head down in class and just, you know, literally, you know, just try and stay, uh, just try and disappear. Um, and that all, you know, it all caught up to me because of grades and just, you know, the relationships with the teachers. I was just lashing out and whatnot. So I ended up being like, oh, or as they told me, I should withdraw. So on the record, uh, and. I went to another school in another state um, in Mississippi, and it really changed my life. Uh, I was a cool kid, but you know, I still like hung out with kids like my old self, 
um, I just got excited because there's you know there's something to be said about like starting fresh and uh, this new school that I was at. I just saw the opportunity to rewrite you know my story and um, there I, you know I got involved. I, I played sports. I joined the math and science team. <laughs> I, uh, I was student council president. I just you know I, I, I embrace I, they embraced me and I embraced them back and um, it, it really. You know, it just really helped me because from there I moved to California and it just, you know, like I was just a lot more confident and, uh, yeah, I was just happy. So. I'm glad. I'm very, very glad about that. Oh. Sounds like the previous two boys keep up. Just keep fighting. <laughs> Always keep fighting. I wish. I wish. I wish he was there, but um, it, it was the fourth season, so I don't think he was directing yet. Uh, what What we did do is, I think, like the moment that I landed in Vancouver, me and Colin went to set, and we went in their trailer, and he just kind of like told me what what this guy was. You know, he was just saying this guy is basically. A UFC fighter in his mind. So I think that's why I was I played it like such a hard ass. Because <laughs> um, you know in real life I'm not. I don't think I'm a UFC fighter. I would never get in that octagon. Uh, but yeah, yeah, that's pretty much what he he told me. I, I really I really wish we would have worked on some of the lines just so you know um, I could have watched him at least do it. I, that was that was just me being like shy and. Awkward, just not speaking up. I should have just said, "Hey, how would you? How would you say this?" And I, he would have immediately, you know, he would, because he, you know, he's that guy. He's he's all help, and he wants the show to succeed and all that. But I think that was just me being the novice and <laughs> you know, not 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 speaking up. But uh, yeah. Thank you. Hey, I have a question for you. Awesome. Uh, all good people are from the south. That's true. Uh, and, and, I, and I'm one of those people, my national aid. You, but I didn't know this, I was listening backstage. I didn't know you moved to Mississippi. Yeah. How, how old were uh, you? I was, I think I was like 16, 17, turned into 16, 17. And the whole family moved? Just me, I went to a boarding school. Is that right? Yeah. yeah no school in New Orleans would take me. <laughs> <laughs> and, and that's New Orleans, that's saying something. Yeah, that's saying something. You're a little too on the edge from New Orleans. Hello. <laughs> so what was it? You moved to Hollywood and you show them how it's done. Well, that's just it. Like, how was like, you? You go from New Orleans yeah. to a boarding school in Mississippi. A strict, a really strict school. Really strict. Yeah. Was it uh, Jesuit or something like that? Uh, Jesuit was the school I got kicked out of, which is also <laughs> not a strict school. <laughs> Nothing like pissing off God. <laughs> Trust me, I do it all the time. Won't be the first time. I'll do it last time. Yeah, and then I went to uh, Brothers of the Sacred Heart boarding school where if you're bad, they make you kneel on rice and like hold books out. Oh, for real? And sleep deprive you, yeah. So that, that corrected my discipline problem real quick. <laughs> did you ever have to do, did you ever do the, the rice kneeling? Oh, yeah. Uh, my first month, like there was several instances because they put you in a room with two other guys uh, and then you just fight. No, uh, <laughs> Cage match. You're sharing, you're, 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 you're boarding with two other dudes in a small room and you know the two guys that I drew happen to be like two of the <laughs> worst ones that were there so hey, by the way they probably said the same about you here. <laughs> this guy got kicked out of Louisiana yeah, one, one plus one equal me uh, and uh, yeah we just kind of fed off each other and we ended up being punished a lot that, that, that first month and then they separated us and I learned my lesson. I didn't want to kneel on rice anymore and hold books. So. That, but like, that sounds so incredibly painful. It is. Yeah. You should try it sometime. I'm yeah. not. <laughs> I'm bad kids. Do that. They will stop being bad. I, as soon as I said, I'm never going to do that, I heard about four people think of that for their photo op. I was like, I'm not going to hear it. They go, oh, we'll bring rice to the photo op. <laughs> That's our next five. Yeah, that'd be great. I like how it's me. 
What about you? We killed a band in the Yellow Rice? You know, the band's been bad. The band's been punished. Bad, bad band. Um, so, which do you like better, Mississippi or New Orleans? Um, and where is it? Where, where was it? Uh, Bay St. Louis is all the way at the bottom. Um, it was a town of about 50,000, so, you know, it was boring. All you do is just drink beer and chase the girls. And, I mean, not that that's boring, but like, you, get to, you know, start getting in trouble. And, uh, um, New Orleans has, you know, it's got a lot more to offer culture wise and, and all that. I'm not, I'm not like talking bad about Bay St. Louis because. I want them to see this and come find me because there's some <laughs> some big boys out there. <laughs> uh, I love Bay St. Louis versus camera. Anyway, it's all good to me. This oh, they're all filming it. Don't worry. <laughs> Everybody's Bay St. Louis is my favorite. Um, uh, uh, yeah. I, uh, Are you? Did you consider yourself like a distinguished alum? Like, did you? Do you keep in touch with the school? I, the, the, the principal actually, because when I moved to Hollywood, um, it was like you know what kind of making fun of me. He's this, you know, like, really strict brother guy. He's like, don't lose yourself out there. And he, he came, he was doing some convention, and uh, we had we had lunch, so I, I, I talked to him. Um, was he cosplaying or something at the time? <laughs> yeah, a priest. <laughs> uh, he was a brother as a priest. I like that. No, he, Clever. He, uh, he kind of lost contact with me. I think he's probably seen some of my R-rated work. <laughs> Stopped. Stop contacting, but I keep I keep contact with uh, a few of my friends that, that I graduated with out there. They, they must have thought, I mean, I don't know, but I'm betting your school wasn't a feeder school into the acting business. Oh, we didn't even have a department. No, they're, they're good old boys out there. That's that's not what you do. I, I can't, I, uh, in between junior and senior year, like junior was probably my strict year, I, I was just like, I'm getting the hell out of here. I came to California for uh, like one or two months, and I just I went alone and just kind of hung out in the city. And, and when I when I came back, everybody was calling me Tom Cruise and like punching me and calling me Hollywood. And, you know, it's just you don't do that out there. It was weird. It's funny. I, I, I don't get called Tom Cruise or Hollywood. I don't get punched a lot. I don't know. <laughs> I missed the fun part. There's somebody with a question, so, I, so answer her question. I'll get out of the way. Sorry, I'm quick. No, you know what? You're actually supposed to be asking questions. I think I have the way. I'm from Mississippi too, which is oh. like super creepy. Like, <laughs> we had the same career and everything to try it. So, um, I'd be creeped out if you you were the girl wearing my shirt. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what I'd be creeped out. Yeah. I was gonna say though, um, are you from like the Mississippi Gulf Coast area, like Biloxi and Gulfport, or are you from like? Uh, I'm, from, I'm, I'm from New Orleans. I lived in Bay St. Louis for two years. I lived in uh, Gulfport for a year, and, and Jacksonville for a year. So. Okay, yeah. sweet. Jacksonville, Missouri, Missouri, South Point. Yeah. Why, why Jacksonville, Jacksonville, Florida, or Jacksonville? Jacksonville, Florida. What, what were you doing in Jacksonville, Florida? Uh, my parents just divorced, and um, that's where they, they went. Uh, my mom went. She went there, and I went with her. Because it was close to Disney World. <laughs> it was, was Disney, six, was Disney World years. adjacent. It was Disney World adjacent. <laughs> that was, uh, we just did a convention in, in Jacksonville, Florida. Oh, really? Yeah, first how'd time we've been down there. How'd it go? It was great. Yeah, a lot of military. Or? Well, I mean, not that we saw. I mean, I know a lot of military down there, but they didn't. They didn't come in to see us. That's some gorgeous eyes. Thank you, Brock. Sorry, I'm just distracted. What were we talking about? Brock. The thing is, the reason why Brock is finally I've known Brock for years. He finally noticed my eyes because you can't see anything else. I have so much facial hair. I'm like looking at a burka. <laughs> you're a dream. Um, listen, here's what you're going to do now. People make fan videos, Brock. Do they? Yeah, they do. People make videos. They make good videos. And so we're going to show one of them. And when, well, this is just the thing that they get for doing it. So we're not going to tell you, oh, I know her. It's fixed. It's I know. all rigged. <laughs> it's all rigged. I'm just wondering how much of my merch she's going to buy with her fake $100. Um, so I'm not, you don't get to, I'm going to say your name, but don't come up and get your, your prize yet. We're going to watch your video. Brock, whose video are we about to watch? Congratulations to Denise Brewer. Yes. So everybody hold on. And we're going to watch the video. Then we'll bring you up on stage and embarrass you. Yeah. Watch this video after this awkward moment. <laughs> Oh, 
Uh, it's a great video of Rob. <laughs> it's so recent. <laughs> How'd you get that footage? Oh, here we go. And this is the video that worked. Oh, here we go. Denise, come get your thing. Come rock him or her thing. You win $100 of non-legal tender. It can only be spent here. We're like the coal mines. We pay you in money that you have to spend in our store. Uh, two, oh, you guys got a match. Well done, Denise. Job, the same story. Nice job. Um, we had a lot of fun trying to figure out what song to play you on and off with. <laughs> because of Brock, we, we amused ourselves more than we should have in coming up with Brock-themed songs. We, I, I want to rock and roll on that one. Of we, we rejected, what did we reject? Brock of Ages. Brock of Ages. <laughs> still Brock in America. You still Brock in America? Uh, Brock, 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 Brock and Roll High School at, the, at Shell. So we decided to do this one instead. Here we go. Brock Kelly, everybody!